Liverpool have always been a thorn in Man United's side from time immemorial. The rivalry is ages old and actually goes beyond the field of play. It even goes on to the transfer market. Today, we will be looking at seven times Liverpool hijacked Manchester United transfer targets. This is going to be an interesting one. Come along. Number 1. Sadio Mane In 2016, when Mane was set to leave Southampton, United were the first to reach out to him. Mourinho was just stepping in as coach and he wanted the Senegalese right away. The deal was progressing nicely until Klopp stepped in. He put a call through to Mane and Mane changed his mind right away. Like him dropping United for Liverpool wasn't enough, he went on to rub it in even more. When asked why he chose Liverpool, here's what the Senegal number 10 said. Liverpool is a massive club with a big history that has won many trophies over the years and as soon as I was told of the possibility of coming here and I knew the manager wanted me, I said yes. What do you mean by that, Mene? Isn't Manchester United also a massive club? Come on! Well, having now won the Premier League, Champions League and the Premier League Golden Boot, you have to say that he made the right decision back then. Number 2. Roberto Firmino before they hijacked Mane, Liverpool first hijacked Firmino from Man United. Back in 2015, it was United who were leading the race to sign Roberto Firmino from Hoffenheim. But that summer, he had commitments with the national team at the Copa America in Chile, so they decided to wait until he was done. Liverpool? Nah, they don't have that kind of patience. They sent delegates to Chile and got Firmino's nod on the 23rd of June when the tournament was barely halfway through. They also got the nod from Hoffenheim and on the 4th of July 2015, everything was agreed and finalised and United were left red-faced. Number 3. Takumi Minamino This one is even more embarrassing for United. They wanted Minamino in 2019 but they were dragging their heels a little because they didn't want to spend a lot on a young player they really weren't 100% sure about. But Liverpool saw that game Minamino played against them in the Champions League in 2019 and they just knew they had to get their man. So they immediately triggered his release clause and brought him over to Anfield in January of 2020. Now, the embarrassing part is that that release clause was just £7.25 million but Man United didn't know about it. What that simply means is that Woodward and his men failed to do their homework on a player they claimed they wanted. Pretty embarrassing, isn't it? Number 4. Fabinho After AS Monaco's beautiful run in the 2016-17 season, the French club basically became a shopping mall for all the big clubs across Europe. City quickly picked Bernardo Silva and Benjamin Mendy, PSG took Mbappe, Chelsea went for Bakayoko, even Wolves had their pick in Jean Moutinho. But Man United always had their eyes on the 6'2 defensive midfielder Fabinho. They were heavily linked with the Brazilian even before the transfer window officially opened. But before the season was even properly over, Liverpool had already snatched the midfielder. Number 5. Thiago After completing the European treble with Bayern Munich in 2020, Thiago was ready to leave Germany for another challenge and this time he had his sights set on the Premier League. Rumour had it that Thiago's first choice was actually Man United and Rio Ferdinand substantiated those rumours. But then United were not quick enough and yet again Liverpool came and snatched the former Barca man for just £20 million, an absolute bargain for a player of Alcantara's quality. Number 6. Virgil van Dijk There is perhaps no bigger example of Man United dragging their feet when it comes to signings than the case of van Dijk. The Red Devils were obviously interested in the Dutch giant. Their interests were known to the entire world more than a year before he left Southampton, but what did Man United do about it? Absolutely nothing. By the time they decided to finally place a call through to the former Celtic man, Liverpool had already completed talks to bring him over to Anfield for £75 million. This was in January of 2018. Now, to make matters worse for the fans the following year, Man United went and bought Harry Maguire for £80 million, making him the most expensive defender in the world. It's bad enough that you lost out on Van Dijk because you failed to act quickly, but to go and sign Maguire for more than your arch rivals paid for Virgil Van Dijk must be painful for United fans. Number 7. Darwin Nunez Unfortunately, the days of being outsmarted and outwitted in the transfer window by Liverpool are not behind Man United. Yet again, they have lost a player that they wanted to sign to Liverpool. 
United have been talking about a rebuild for a long time now and they showed how serious they were by completing the signing of a new coach weeks before the end of the season. Eric Ten Hag immediately started pointing out players that he wanted for next season and Darwin Nunez was one of them. The club held talks with the player and his agent and we hear that Ten Hag himself even flew to Portugal to try and convince him to join. But towards the end of May, Liverpool found out they'd be losing Mane and so they decided to quickly make plans for life after him. They saw that Nunez was on the market and they immediately went for him and got him to sign. This time around it was probably just down to Liverpool being in a much better place than United at the moment because United were proactive this time. Without Champions League football and with no trophy win in years, it's getting harder and harder to convince players to move to Old Trafford these days. Anyway, if you're a Man United fan, tell us in the comments which of these hijacks hurt you the most. And if you're a Liverpool fan, let us know which of these steals you enjoyed the most. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new stuff. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.